Kenny Callender likes uh, in the next at Rose Hill, number three, Mercator, to be ridden by B. Compton. That's the Orlando Wines Cup, which will be coming up shortly. Now, in tennis... Hey, Ian, thank you. The race is called the Orlando Wines Cup, and uh, yet another time-honoured event has... Uh, lost its name or had a name change as a result of sponsorship it's uh, it was previously the lord mayor's cup and there's the favorite he's not very big a little fellow called mercator ridden by bruce compton trained by royce dowling and ken his last two wins have been very impressive yes john in fact he's won four in a row four from six starts uh he's not flash odds but i think you'll get the cash here's his, here are all the prices Kensington Gardens at 10 to 1, Polyphony at 9s. Mercator, the horse we're talking about, $2.20. Odds of around about 5 to 4. That's $2.20 return for dollar investment. 30 Galilei, 50 Moniusco, 9 to 1 Star Kairu, 33 Royal Marine, 40 Bass Drum, 25 Galleons Gem. Chiming Knight, Jay Marshall at 8 to 1. Gala Recital, 100 to 1. Pompeius, let me check his price. 560, coming in all the time, might end up 4 to 1 or even shorter. 66 Curso, Rudazan is out, Dalraffin 100, Shorty Mac 100. Talking about Pompeius, the horse here, it's to be ridden by Kevin Moses. Kevin's already won three of the first five races at Rose Hill, the first three in fact, and he's going for his fourth win of the day on Pompeius. The favourite, uh, Mercator, to be ridden by Bruce Compton. Here's Johnny. Righto, Ken, he's got a bad alley, little Mercator but it probably won't matter because he likes to get back in the field anyway. And when horses uh, drop straight back in the early stages, it really doesn't matter where they draw. Pompeius, a good winner last week at Randwick. He seems to be getting better all the time. He's a four-year-old Pompeius, and yet he's only had 15 or 16 starts, so he must have had problems somewhere along the line. Now, Mercator moves up on the outside of the field, and they look to be about set and ready for action now. The line looks good. No, no, Galilei to come in. In the Mike Willisey colours, Ron Quinton up. Galilei, an imported galloper, has moved in. Yet another one of the Argentinian connection. Galilei goes up on the extreme outside. In fact, he's out there in the second petition of stalls. Ready. Kensington Gardens being held by a gateman. Off and running in the Orlando Cup. Chiming Knight and Gala recital down near the inside began well and so did Kensington Gardens and Old Moniusco pinged away nicely. Close handy Curso and Royal Marine followed by bass drum as they thunder down the straight the first time. Moniusco goes to the lead now, narrowly over Royal Marine and bass drum on the outside is going up to join them. Kensington Gardens tucked away on the fence followed by Curso, three deep Galleons Gem, out very wide Shorty Mac and Pompeius the best part of five and six deep leaving the straight and then Chiming Knight and Dal Raffin followed by Mercator. Well back Gala Recital, Polyphony and Galilei and back at the tail of Star Kairu as they go by the 1800 mark. The leader Moniusco being steadied by about a length on bass drum and running third Royal Marine followed by Curso. Now Shorty Mac out deep as being set alight and has raced up on the outside to join the lead as they go into the back straight. Further back Galleon's Gem who's covering a bit of extra territory. Chiming Knight as midfield on the inside of Mercator. At the head of the others Gala Recital followed by Del Raffin and Pompeius and then Polyphony and Galilei and a length and a half away last to Star Kairu as they head down the back at the 1300 mark and it's old Moniusco, a rising eight-year-old he's lobbing along about three quarters to bass drum who's going up to have a crack at him now Royal Marine in the box seat running third and about three lengths away Shorty Mac on the outside of Kensington Gardens and then Curso and Gala Recital followed by Galleon's Gem Chiming Knight, further back Polyphony Mercator giving them a pretty tidy start but he did last time too and then Dal Raffin and Pompeius followed by Star Kairu and Galilei these two leaders at the 800 mark bass drum and Moniusco are striding together they're clear of Royal Marine and about seven lengths away now Kensington Gardens followed by Curso further back is Polyphony coming into it followed by Chiming Knight Gala Recital dropping out of it Mercator flat to the boards is giving them a big start and so is Pompeius as they come to the corner where bass drum had gone to the lead to be taken on by Royal Marine Moniusco Moniusco is struggling in third place and a long way back Kensington Gardens followed by Polyphony and then Chiming Knight and Mercator under the whip is doing absolutely nothing at the moment. 
coming to the 200 mark bass drum led from Royal Marine Moniusko on the fence is plugging on and then Polyphony Chiming Knight he might be a danger Chiming Knight down the outside making his run with Polyphony and they've swept to Royal Marine Chiming Knight and Polyphony Chiming Knight and Polyphony with Chiming Knight going best and Chiming Knight draws away to beat Polyphony Royal Marine has run third Mercator fourth he only plotted home today and then bass drum Pompeius Del Raffin Galilei Moniusko Kensington Gardens Star Kairu, well back Curso, followed by Galleon's Gem, Gala Recital, and tailed off in the race, Shorty Mac. The winner is Chiming Knights, ridden by Jay Marshall. Number 10, Chiming Knight, Jay Marshall. $9 and $2.40. The race was run to suit him with a ton of pace on, and he made a long, sustained run in the straight to win very well. Second, Polyphony, a place dividend of 280. <coughs> And seven will get third, and that was uh, Royal Marine, a place dividend of 680. So the numbers on the race should be 10, 2, and 7. 10, 2, 7, officially on the Orlando Wines Cup. Funny race, Ken. Yes, John, the master trainer of stayers, Bart Cummings, does it again. And there you see Chiming Knight beating Polyphony and uh, a great run by Royal Marine in third place. And the favourite, Mercator, that's him with the red sleeves, just getting home in fourth place ahead of Bass Drum and Pompeius. Another loser, but not if you're back Chiming Knight. There he is returning to scale with John Marshall, who soon, who will soon be going to Hong Kong to ride aboard him here at Rose Hill today. That was the story of race six. Two more to go. So you stay tuned to the wide world of sports. Six, the Orlando Wines Cup over 2,400 metres. Chiming night, the winner number 10, $9 even and $2.40. Number two, Polyphony, $2.80. And number seven, Royal Marines, $6.80. They are, of course, New South Wales.